Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the code 37 error you might be getting on your Windows device when you're getting a Windows cannot initialize the device driver for this hardware error. Now this will typically happen when you're trying to introduce new hardware to your Windows device. So in this brief tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of different troubleshooting methods on how to hopefully resolve this issue. Now it will not work for everybody because every device is a little bit different and the reason why you're getting this error can be different but this should hopefully be a solution that should work for a good portion of the people that are looking up this kind of video. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by heading over to the start menu and we're going to open it up and now we're going to type in device manager. should be listed right above control panel so you want to left click on that. So now assuming that you are connecting to it via USB port, we're going to go underneath Universal Serial Bus Controllers under here. So if you see something that says a generic USB hub or something like that, you want to right click and then update the driver software. You want to search automatically for updated driver software. And then you want to let this thing scan. If it finds anything, let it install the updated software. If it does not, like it says, the best driver software is already installed. Then what I would recommend doing is uninstalling it and then by right clicking and then uninstall. And then I'll click on OK. And then I recommend plugging in your device driver again or your device that I was having issues with. I would also check to see if your device has any disk or online manuals that can be downloaded to your computer because sometimes they actually have their own installer files that could be necessary in order to get it to work. You don't necessarily have to go through the Windows 10 default device manager in order to install and download drivers. Most third party applications and software like phones and MP3 players, they'll have their own installers that you can use as kind of a workaround for this. So I would definitely recommend trying that even before you do this uninstall of any USB hubs. But that's always a possibility. It should not really do that much damage. But it shouldn't really do any damage, but just something to keep in mind as a possible solution. I would not really recommend that as one of your primary options, but that's always something down the road. I would much rather try and go through the manufacturer and see if they have any disk or anything that came with your device that you can pop in your computer and get the install working and get it synced up to your device. So I do hope this brief tutorial did offer some assistance to you guys. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.